never told me what you do here. But somehow it feels like I wanted it to happen. The Great Wall of China. It stretches nearly 4,000 miles. It cuts a path through the heart of a nation. And the strength behind much of this structure? An estimated 70 million bricks. But this epic barrier almost didn't stand at all. Centuries after it is first built, the wall begins to crumble to the ground. The mud bricks that give it strength are no match for the elements. They turn to an essential element, fire. For 6,000 years, the Chinese made pottery by firing it at high temperatures in kilns. They decide to employ the same technology to create brick. By firing the clay in kilns, they can heat it to nearly 2,000 degrees. This allows the molecules inside to fuse. The result is a hard block that locks the elements out and is also able to sustain tremendous weight. The Chinese have the formula to rebuild the wall. That would be something. Someday, when I'm awfully low, when the world is cold, I will feel a glow just thinking of you. And the way you look tonight. Qué bonita bandera, qué bonita bandera, qué bonita bandera, la bandera puertorriqueña. New York City from its first founding by the Dutch has been a mixing pot of cultures. The Puerto Rican identity is part of that pot. Yeah, that's nice. What we're doing is we're providing a dress rehearsal um, for eight filmmakers, and, and it's about giving filmmakers the opportunity to work on the creative issues in the material that they're concerned about. What are those pivotal scenes, um, those scenes that must work for the movie to work? And those are the scenes that get explored during the June Filmmakers Lab. We're good with the the back. That's all right. That was beautiful. Hang out, and then we're going to come around sure. and do you yeah. here. Okay, let's, let, let's, let's, let's do the moment till she crosses and let's come around again. This is a show that everybody can understand. You don't have to be prepared to come to our show, only to be mixed in the middle of a lot of people and open your mind and your soul and receive everything. We give the audience a lot of images, a lot of situations where they can be part and they can decide how they want to be part. Shouting, jumping, dancing. At the University of Oregon, Cree comes under the wing of the track coach, Bill Bowerman, played with winking intelligence by Donald Sutherland. Gradually, he breaks free like a stubborn horse. The races themselves are sequences of rare physical and intellectual beauty, observed from both the crowd's and the runner's points of view. Unfortunately, there's one dramatic stumbling block the town can't overcome. Prefontaine's death in 1975, the result of a car crash that occurred when he was driving back from a party, is certainly a tragedy, but a naggingly arbitrary one. Cree's death, I'm afraid, breaks all the rules of screen writing, but his life, in Without Limits, is more pungent than ever.